Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about CS Card Stripe Connect Payment Gateway. This payment gateway facilitates the transactions between payer, vendor and the admin. During checkout, both the vendor's payment and the merchant's commissions are transferred parallelly. For the online demonstration regarding the product, you can go to our webcool store and click on this demo button. And for the documentation regarding the same, please click on this user guide and go through the user guide manual provided at the store. Let us now proceed towards the installation part of this add-on. This is my admin panel. Go to add-ons tab and click on manage add-ons. Click on this plus button to upload and install a new add-on. Now click on local and browse the zip file for Stripe Connect payment gateway. Select the file and click on upload and install. Once your add-on is installed, you need to configure the settings of this installed add-on. Let us search now this installed add-on. This is my Stripe Connect payment gateway. To manage the settings, go to this settings drop down and click on settings. Here you can view various fields for settings. The first one is mode. Select the mode of the Stripe Connect payment gateway. Either you can select test mode or the live mode as per your requirement. Next you need to fill are the credentials of this payment gateway which you will be able to get when you log in on your stripe.com let me show you how and where you can get these secret keys and the client ids let us go to the stripe.com and sign in on the stripe account if you have not a stripe account you can sign up for a new account here you can view the sign up option is provided Enter here the email ID of the account and the password. Now click on this sign in to your account to sign in the Stripe account. Once you sign in successfully, you will get redirected to the dashboard of your account. Here you will be able to view the live and the test mode. You can select the mode of your payment gateway use. To get the credential and the keys, go to this account settings option. Here you will be able to view various tabs, click on this API keys. Here you will be able to view all the test secret keys, publishable keys and live secret key and publishable keys. Copy these keys and enter in the settings of your add-on. Here you can view that I have entered the keys for live in the test mode account. Now let us see how you can get development client ID and production client ID. For that again go to the settings. Here go to the connect tab. And to register your platform here you need to enter the name of your website or company. And again in the next field you need to enter the website URL. For the logo and icon, you can upload the images over here. And for the client IDs for development purpose, you can get the client ID from here for development. And for production client ID, you can copy this code from here and paste it in your add-on settings. Also to register your platform, you need to enter the redirect URLs for the development and the production purpose. Here enter the redirect URL and please do not forget to append question mark dispatch equals to companies dot stripe underscore connect. This is mandatory to append in both the redirect URLs for development and the production purpose. Here you can view I have appended in both the URLs question mark dispatch equals to company dot stripe underscore connect. Once you are done and you have registered your platform, you can get back to your add-on settings. By entering these all the credentials, if you want to enable the deferred account activation, you can enable it from here. Once it is done, click on the save button. You need to create a new payment method for this payment gateway. For that, click on the administration tab and click on payments method. Now click on this plus button to add a new payment method. Enter the name of the payment method over here. Let us enter Stripe Connect. 
next you need to choose the template of this payment method if you do not choose the template and just enter the processor it will automatically be fetched over here let us choose the template from here only the template need to be chosen is cc underscore outside dot tpl once you choose you need to select the processor for this payment gateway search for the stripe connect payment gateway here you can view stripe connect processor and choose the same as the stripe connect next you need to select the payment category you can either select credit card internet payments or other payments option as per your requirement and by filling all the mandatory details to create a new payment method you need to configure the settings of this payment method for that click on this configure tab the first field over here is currency you need to choose here the stripe payment currency from the available currencies list next if you want to enable the bitcoin select yes otherwise you can select no stripe response if you want to save the response from the stripe end you can select yes and this response will be saved in the orders details the next you need to enter the name of the company and the company description if you want to add a logo of your company you can add it from here by entering the url and please note that url should be publicly accessible and the last option is to choose the order status here you can select the order status which will get updated whenever there is a successful payment via this payment gate once these configuration settings are made click on this create button here you can view that the stripe connect payment method has been added once this is done let us now move to the vendors panel this is my vendor panel with vendor.php now go to this vendors tab and click on vendors here you will be able to view the vendor's name his email id and up along with the registered date and time with the status click on the vendor's name here a vendor need to fill up all the mandatory information along with the contact information and shipping address once it is done go to this addons tab here you will be able to you that vendor need to connect with stripe to get the stripe connect functionalities here we have provided a button to connect with the stripe directly once you click on this button it will redirect the vendor to the stripe website where he need to sign in for the stripe account and if he do not have the stripe account he can register himself by entering these mandatory fields and click on this authorize access to this account for the development purpose as we are using it in a demo mode here we can skip this account form once a vendor get connected it will get redirected to the vendor panel and a stripe user id will be created for that particular connected vendor he can also disconnect himself by clicking on this stripe disconnect button let us now view the admin backend panel this is my admin backend panel go to this vendors tab and click on vendors here the admin can view the list of the registered vendor click on the vendor simtek here he will be able to view all the vendor information he can also edit the vendor's information and he can also add the vendor commission as per his business requirement let us now click on this addons tab here you will be able to view that at admin backend panel a stripe user id is automatically fetched once this vendor get connected to this account let us now see the front end panel and see how a customer can pay via stripe connect this is my front end product page click to add to cart button continue towards the checkout page here you can continue with the shipping option present and choose the stripe connect payment option for the payment purpose 
Now accept the term and condition of the vendor and click on submit my order. Click on this pay here button. Here you can enter the registered mail ID. Let us enter the demo mail ID and need to enter the card details. Let us enter the demo card details over here. You can also pay via bitcoins by just selecting the bitcoin option. Let us continue this. Once the payment is done successfully, the customer will get redirected to the store link. And here he'll be able to view the order details by clicking on this button provided for the order details. Where he can check all the order details summary along with the payment method used for the payment of this particular order. Let us now get back to the admin backend panel and check out the order. Go to this orders tab and click on view orders. Here you will be able to view that the status of the order will be updated as per the settings made at the backend. Click on this order ID. Here all the response from the Stripe will be saved under the payment information. And the order total will be listed over here from which the amount for the seller will be transferred to the seller's Stripe account and the rest vendor commission will be added to the admin's account. This transaction will be done parallelly and this is all about my Stripe Connect payment gateway. Thank you so much for watching.